Hey guys, this is Eckhart Slaughter. Hello and welcome to another Empire at War video. Today, I am very, very lucky to be bringing you guys an early look at the upcoming version for Star Wars Empire at War Remake, which of course is a mod for Empire at War. So, special thank you to Joran for giving me access. I'll put a link to not only the mod, but also his YouTube channel down in the description. So, this new version of the mod, which I'm playing today, is still in beta, so first of all, perhaps expect some minor bugs. But it also features one of my favorite ships in the Star Wars universe, the Viscount class Star Defender. So we're gonna see that in action. However, if you want more from the mod and more Star Wars Empire War gameplay generally, I highly suggest you subscribe to my second channel, X2. We post videos there nearly daily and we've been streaming two or three times a week. We'll be streaming some more of this tonight, we being me, and the other person who works on the channel, Charlie. It'll be a ton of fun, and in the upcoming days, I'll be doing some custom fleet battles, like you'll get a taste of today. So I'll go ahead and click Skirmish, because um, I don't know if the Viscount's actually in Galactic Conquest yet, and we can see that there's a few custom game modes. Viscount versus Eclipse, Viscount versus Executor, and Hammer and Anvil, Battle of Coruscant, New versus Old. So today we're gonna do Viscount versus Executor, which came in the mod, and then also new and old and hammer and anvil which were both custom made for me to show you guys kind of how the mod works uh, so we'll go ahead and do viscount versus executor first mostly because i'm just excited to see uh see the new ship model i haven't seen it yet so this will be my first impressions all right sorry you could probably just hear my uh kid up there screaming he's excited to see the ship. Let's do a dramatic turnaround. And wow. That is beautiful. Um, so yeah, I haven't seen any of Jorn's work on this uh, Viscount until now, and I gotta say, I'm impressed. It's an interesting take on the ship because it sort of diverges a little bit from what we see um, in Legends. There's only a few images of the Viscount. From the top, it looks very similar because it does have a really uh, sort of wide front and then it tapers off towards the back but it's got some interesting details um, the first is obviously this I don't really know what you'd call it it looks almost like the uh, it looks like the profundity the, the MC 75 it has that little thing at the bottom uh, it could be like an auxiliary deck or maybe a hangar bay or something um, but either way it's different than what we see in the lore but it makes sense for Mon Cal ship designs, and I've seen other fan-created ships, especially in Empire at War, that feature that, so it might be a reference to that. Uh, then, of course, we have the Executor over here, um, you know, another massive Dreadnought. Same size as the Viscount, um, you can tell it's like literally the same size, 19 kilometers, um, but not as massive, especially if you look like this. Um, yeah. So, I think it's pretty clear that the Viscount, which is a much newer vessel, uh, is able to win this battle. Uh, the Viscount was like the New Republic's... I've, I've done a whole video on it, which I'll try to remember to link. But the Viscount was the New Republic's response to... Basically, every few years, it seems like the Imperial Remnant or some other faction would get a hold of a Super Star Destroyer, which they would have to kill. Um, so, although New Republic fleets were much more flexible with like the new class project and stuff, uh, and ships were much more specialized as well, there still obviously was some space for large dreadnoughts in the Navy, and that's what we have with the Viscount. Um, pretty, pretty impressive vessel, though. And it's clearly outgunning the, uh, ex the I almost called the Eclipse, the Executor here, which it should. I mean, I don't even think its shields are close to down. Yeah, they're still at over 50, and this is nearly down. Um... I'd say that the uh, the Executor probably has more turbo lasers, without knowing any details of the game, just based on the lore, the Executor probably has more turbo lasers, but the Viscount has just a really impressive shield. There's a lot I like about this mod that you can kind of see at display um, with these big ships here. First of all, every particle and every shot has a visual effect, which is awesome. I mean, look at the... it's like Battle of the Dreadnoughts, look at the... Uh, just the explosions here, it's really impressive. The missiles especially too are really fun. Um, but on the smaller ships especially, you can see, you lose a bit of the detail on the larger ships, but each smaller ship 
um, has a turret associated with the weapon. So you can kind of see that here, like these are turbo laser towers, um, but on the smaller ship the turrets also move to follow the uh, enemy. They'll like, uh, we'll see it later on, but pretty impressive I must say. Overall though, let's take a closer look at the ship. Um, it almost, in kind of appropriate Mon Calamari fashion, if you look at it from further away, it, it's got like a curve to it, and it almost reminds me of like a whale or some sort of aquatic creature, which is exactly what you want. It, it is certainly quite different from the version that EC Henry and I uh, made for, well, he made it uh, for Battle of the Dreadnoughts, but I think based on the fact that each Mon Calamari cruiser is supposed to be individualized, that totally works within the lore. The AI um, decide to go for a little jaunt here, running away, which is fine. Um, another thing about the Viscount too, just naturally due to the way the ship is structured, it's got a lot more guns uh, on the back side. You can see the the Executor does have some, like these are turbo laser towers, they are firing, it does have some, some guns back here, um, but not nearly the same amount. The big ships in this mod don't have hard points, which is interesting. I think it's just not practical to have something with that many hard points on it. Um, but one thing to note is that these actually are to scale. So if I had a Star Destroyer here, this is 19 kilometers long, the Star Destroyer would be like this big. I'm moving my mouse. I don't know if you guys, if that's, tr if that's uh, translating on screen, but yeah, the... The executor's powerful, but it's not. Even in is not well suited to face off against the Viscount. So our special ability here is boost engine power, which is a little surprising. Would have expected it to be shields. I don't really think of the Viscount as a um, particularly fast vessel, but I'm not going to complain. That sounds pretty cool. So the uh, executor is doing quite a <laughs> wide turn here. It's like putting its wings up. I wonder if that actually puts different weapons in uh, in range. Like if it puts the weapons on this wing. I know it's not the correct term, but if it puts the weapons on this wing in range where they wouldn't have otherwise been. I don't know. Let's take a closer, closer look at the hull. Um, it almost looks like it uses like other Mon Calamari ships just into the hull, which would totally make sense. Um, it would certainly be a cost or a time saving thing uh, as long as it doesn't have to render the actual interior of the ship there. That's just a guess. I know Jorn, um, he does live stream some of his um, model making so you can see that yourself. Um, I've, I've checked in recently and he was streaming. He's making a new space station which was really cool. So you can see how he makes these and get like a kind of closer look at what's coming up with the mod. Uh, but yeah, really impressive work here. The uh, Executor 2 is, not the Executor, T-W-O, T-O-O, is a very cool model too. The uh, the back, just like in the movies, um, one thing I really like though is it takes this kind of weird, like, uh, it's not like negative space, I guess it kind of is negative space and implies hangers in there. Um, so if you look at the, this is what it looks like in the movie, um, you see this kind of inlet here. But the mod has decided, well, this is a gigantic capital ship. It should carry lots and lots of starfighters. Let's fill it full of hangars, which I quite like. The starfighters haven't actually spawned on this map, but in the one I'm about to show you, I think they will. The next one. Beautiful. Um, so ships this large do kind of wreak havoc with the map a little bit. Um, so I'm having trouble targeting the uh, the executor because I think it's actually, most of it has left the map, um, but that's okay. One thing I noticed almost immediately about the, uh, the Viscount is the engines. Um, this shot really reminds me of when the, uh, the hyperspace ram from The Last Jedi because the engine color and the placement is very similar. Like I think the Radis would is kind of like this without the bottom ones, uh, but the color and the way they look 
is very similar and pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up because I think the executor has a death animation or a death model, I should say. But it's just so cool to watch this happen. Even cooler when there's like smaller ships in the middle, just like banging it out. <laughs> I also have to say just how impressive it is. Um, this game has made a lot, a lot of improvements um, since I've started playing it. I was a little critical at the beginning or during my first playthroughs because this mod was an absolute resource hog. It didn't run very well. But right now, even with all of these, you know, shots being calculated and everything, uh, I'm still getting 120 frames for a game that came out in 2006. It's pretty impressive. Um, it gets a bit more complicated with fighters because they have their own AI and stuff. So if you drop in a bunch of carriers, you can see a little bit of slowdown. But even if I go fast mode, which the game struggles with, I'm still pulling in right now 45. I don't think it's visible for you guys. It's part of the Steam overlay, but... Which I don't think OBS captures. But yeah, this sort of, uh, like, all the kind of bulk being up towards the front of the ship is an interesting choice, and it makes it quite distinct visually, especially compared to other Mon Calamari ships, which are, like, more pickle-shaped. But this is almost over, uh, so I'll keep up with the uh, fast-forward here. Bring the two within spitting range of each other. I don't think in the lore that there's actually any examples where an executor and an eclipse, or sorry, ugh, an executor and a viscount actually fight each other. Because the viscount premieres during the uh, Yuzhan Vong War, um, and then, but we do get a bit of the bounty and the Krakana, which are the two later viscount models. Uh, oh, we're gonna clip each other. We do get a bit of that in, uh, I think, Legacy of the Force. They're mentioned as part of the GA's Navy, um, but they don't really do anything. They're said to have done stuff, but... I think it's actually only the Krakana. I think maybe the bounty is destroyed during the war. The uh, Yuzhan Vong War. Always mention this little jaw that the Executor has. It's a nice little detail. There it goes. Slainer. All right. So this will. You guys can see if you watch some of the videos on the uh, the second channel, but this thing will just fall towards the planet, which is really cool. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and load up another skirmish. Skirmish. We will do, I'm going to do, so we're not going to do Viscount versus Eclipse here. I'll do that for the second channel. Um, and Subjugator versus Mandator. I think I've already done that, but I'll do that for the second channel as well. Um, next, I want to do maybe Hammer and Anvil and New versus Old. I don't actually know what these are. Uh, special thank you to Madame who builds these custom battles for me that I run all the time on the second channel. Um, she made these for me and said they might be fun. So let's do Hammer and Anvil. I'm pretty sure the AI difficulty doesn't actually matter because it only impacts um, resource generation. I don't think it actually changes tactics on a battle level. When it comes to like the... Okay, let's just see here. Okay. We'll give the ships a second to load in. So... It looks like... We are the hammer and they're the anvil, I guess, because we've got a force on either side. They've got, they might still have ships hidden because we can't see. Let's go ahead and send Roger. a fighter in. But I guess we're the hammer and they're the anvil because we've got, um, I think these, okay, so I think there's a slight issue with this build I have. These are supposed to be hammerheads, I think. And I think that this is just the uh, stand-in. It's got stand-in text as well. Um, oh yeah, there's an ISD there as well. And five victories? Okay. Let's move these uh, cruisers up. But you guys will get to see, I'll, I'll try to show you guys, let's just put these guys into the battle. I'll try to show you guys what I mean with these uh, 
targeting turrets look you can see right there each gun is actually animated it will shift to focus on different uh different capital ships it's really cool um speaking of let's go ahead and the providence in this is like a oh, i already used it it's like a missile boat almost it has a lot of uh missile abilities um so it's really useful for taking out like a single hard point or something so the commerce guild frigate or the recusant calls it the recusant 2 i don't know the only difference i notice is the uh the engines here mass driver cannon okay so it's like a, basically supposed to be like a rebel modified So although this doesn't show off the Viscount, obviously, the next one will. And you guys will get to see some cool death animations. Your Copy. But yeah, you guys can see we're, we're chasing him down. This will be a fun one tonight with Charlie, because I'm better than Charlie. So I'll be the, uh, the middle faction, the Anvil, or the Empire. Alright, let's send all of these. Oh, these have buzz droids as well. We can toss those at the uh, coming Venator. Oh, look, here's one that's dying. Does accidentally, the death model does accidentally still have the uh, the old Republic paint, but that's just a sm very, very small issue. They also have boost weapon power, so let's see what all of these can do against an ISD. The ISD in this mod is a beast, but thankfully, because its shield is down. So yeah, this is an ISD one. You can tell not only because of the the, uh, the tractor beam array, but also it's got the double turbo lasers rather than the big uh, the bigger ones. Man, I can see this thing just falling to Coruscant below. See if I can show you guys the missile effect, because it's really cool. Um, oh yeah. Kind of missed it, but you see it especially with the Victory Star Destroyer. Oh, there's some. But with like the Victory, for example, they just start popping into the sides, and then they go towards the target. Really cool. So yeah, I think, I, I imagine that this is supposed to be the Hammerhead model, because right now it's just a... Uh, like a reflected uh, Nebulon B. Like a Nebulon B with a Mohawk. I've seen this in other mods. People have done that. Um, like the... Uh, oh, what's it called? What's that mod called? Um, oh, Yoden mod does that. And it has like even more ridiculous variants from what I remember as well. I think... When I play Charlie later, I'm probably going to want to rely on my fighter advantage. Probably get my ships away from... Like, push towards one fleet, probably the one at the Providence. Send my bombers, try to take out shields, and then... Try to... I don't know, because they do have a pretty significant fighter advantage right now. Let's take that Recusant. Honestly, in most cases... Oh, yeah, look, look, there's some missiles there. That's cool. It's one of the best things about this mod is the effects um, with, like, munitions and stuff. I'm but I'm going to be quiet, and I'm going to let this play out, and once it's done, we will move on to the next battle, which I just read a message from Madame. It is a Viscount versus a brand new ship. So, to the mod. Brand new ship to the mod. One that Star Wars fans will... Pro well ship fans, legend ship fans will recognize. See you soon.
All right, so here we are, new versus old, and we have the Viscount class star defender against a Praetor class Balacruiser. So this is also a new ship to the mod. Um, it's gonna be absolutely destroyed downrange from the Viscount. It's a big ship, it's probably being modeled at, let's see. I would guess it's being modeled at eight kilometers. Um, has no official length, but uh, it's a big ship, but compared to the Viscount, it's, you know, it's a whole another league, basically. Um, let's take a closer look at it, though. So the Praetor is basically, it first appeared in an old Marvel Star Wars comic. Um, it was called the Helmsman in that. It's basically like the um, flagship of this fleet that was uh, under, I, f I forget which commander, Admiral Gael, I think, had it. Um, let's take a closer look at it. And then later it was, um, and it, it, you know, it had basically the same design, which itself is based off of early concept for a Super Star Destroyer, which is why it's pretty radically different um, than most other, you know, uh, ships of the class or the size or really most Star Destroyers generally. So it was based off the early Star Destroyer concept and then, or Super Star Destroyer concept, I should say, then was fully modeled by Fractal Sponge, and uh, which looks very, very similar to this. These uh, guns here, which do actually follow the ship, are very spongian <laughs> as in they look like something you'd expect to see on a fractal sponge ship although this itself is a totally distinct model uh i'm sure made by joran so a few little details that joran ships have like uh that shield generator bulb there um cool looking engines but yeah visually it's a very let's look at the bottom by the way visually it's a very distinctive ship it's also in um it's also in Thrawn's Revenge, probably my favorite Empire War mod, uh, Thrawn's Revenge is. I actually first thought that the bridge would be right here. Um, that'd be a cool place for a secondary bridge, but I think the main bridge would be right here, which is interesting because it's kind of protected um, by these two uh, struts, and I'm sure there'd be lots of laser cannons in there, so it's pretty protected from fighters or whatever else, which is, you know, kind of unique for a Star Wars capital ship. Um, but yeah, this thing is just dying to like the massive onslaught of the uh the viscount what is it launching those missiles does it have like a big missile launcher in the front right here oh yeah probably four coming from here very interesting oh yeah there you go very interesting hangar placement as well um i don't know if i'd necessarily want to launch out at the front of a capital ship especially if it's in a head-to-head -head engagement like this but uh just me personally, let's move our large fella a little closer in range. Again, it's really hard to imagine the the scope and the size of this battle without references. Like, this is a massive ship. This is, you know, four times or four to five times larger than a Star Destroyer. Actually, probably closer to six, depending on the size they used and this thing is just absolutely outclassed by the Viscount and we can see the Viscount's fighters in this um, we've got A wings and B wings it's a pretty deadly combo let's send the B wings in to do an attack run maybe we can get a cool shot of them uh, strafing the circus cir circus the surface I should say yeah believe it or not the Praetor does not have to my knowledge an onboard circus Damn, she stops on a dime. Let's watch those B wings going. Let me good look at that uh, bottom piece there. I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask Jordan next time uh, what he intended that to be. Pretty cool. It looks like he could even maybe detach. Very, must have very strong anti-gravity uh, technology. It's right above a gas giant and very close. <laughs> well, the A-wings look like they're going in. The Praetor, on the other hand, has a sort of older ship. Let's see what the description says. Um, 
state of the art shield generators. Oh, we took care of those. Um, but yeah, older ship, so it's got one fourth the shielding of the Viscount uh, and has old Clone Wars era uh, starfighters. This is gonna be cool. Look at this. B Wings is just doing a bombing run over the surface. That's really cool. You almost can't even tell because the thing is getting so much fire from the uh, Dreadnought, but once... Yeah, now you can see. Oh my god, that's so cool. I'm trying to get a... It's not letting me take the... Uh, the sea view of it, which is where you get to focus on... There we go. Oh, uh, look, yeah, there's another round doing their attacks there. It's like swarming the things, like flies almost. Again, you just gotta. This mod, like, it gets scale so right, I gotta say. Look at all these B-Wings just launching into it with the massive cruiser in the background. Yeah, shields still aren't down. But fighters in this mod are very good against um, capital ships. Less so against Dreadnoughts because they don't have the the hard points, but like they can... A squad of uh, B-Wings can cripple a Star Destroyer shields and then... You know, that makes all the difference. If the shields are down, then the attacking ship... Especially if it's something pretty sturdy like a Mon Cal Cruiser can uh, start taking out hard points and then it just becomes more and more effective. I've seen one of the weirdest glitches in Empire War with really large ships, sometimes they just will f flop around like that. Yeah, she ain't got much long left. Longer left. Let's go ahead and speed this up a little. Not sure if this one has a uh, death model. It may not, just because we're still in the beta. And yeah, but so look how large those guns are compared to the like a single B-wing. Just unloaded on them. Sorry about that. Not much else to say about this. It's pretty much over. So that was just Joran who messaged me, the mod creator. So he he just said too that they've redone a lot of the skirmish matches. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and read the uh, Viscount's description. In response to the escalating conflict of the Galactic Civil War, Mon Calamari Shipyards and the Krillian Engineering Corporation undertook a massive endeavor: construction of the Viscount Star Defender. High-powered engines, layered shielding, rapidly reloading torpedo tubes, and multiple ion batteries to hunt down, ambush, and destroy Imperial battlecruisers and escape before reinforcements arrive. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, so that just caused a massive explosion. Um, probably means that there's no death animation, yeah. Sometimes... Just, it just blew up. We'll just say the reactor's blue and we can't see anything for now. It will, the screen will return to normal, but that usually means there's no death animation yet. Yeah. Alright, still awesome though. Let's move on. I think I'll do one last battle. Um, just to show you guys who haven't played the mod how it works. Uh, again, I want to say I've got a lot of cool gameplay on the second channel already. Um, we have an attack on the Starforge. Um... 
I don't think we've done the Battle of Course, and maybe we'll do that later. Um, there's like a Star Forge attack we've done. It's really, really cool. Uh, that's just a map, I think, but we've done custom attacks on it because the Star Forge itself is a fully functioning space station. Um, so yeah. Let's go ahead and load. There was, I want to show you guys Shola because there's something cool in that. We'll go against, we'll do a full skirmish against a medium AI. We'll play as the Rebels. All right, we are here. I had a slight mistake with the name. It isn't, uh... Shola that has the thing I want to show you guys. It's the very appropriately named shipyard at sh Sashimi um, And you can see here that the uh, the Viscount is under construction. It's upside down so we can see the uh, what looks like the last touches being made to whatever this thing is and also we've got an MC 75 Looks like a home one variant being made and then some of the smaller capital ships. That is really cool um, So we'll do a full skirmish match here just those of you who've never played Empire War and want to see how this mode works. Um, skirmish is definitely not my favorite mode in the game. I'm, I'm not great at it. I'm not terrible at it, though, either. Um, but I just kind of generally prefer to play, like, the larger campaigns, which is why Thrawn's Revenge is probably my favorite um, mod. But Skirmish is, in my opinion, the most fun one for this game, just because they haven't worked on campaign quite as, mu uh, quite as much, although... That certainly could change. Location confirmed. Um, so we're building an, a hut asteroid station, which basically gives us income like normal asteroids do, but also um, can protect itself. Sorry about those Discord messages, guys. I thought I muted them. But uh, this mode is mostly about controlling... I mean, it's very, it's very similar to most RTSs. It's like about controlling territory, um, managing assets, and you can kind of rush the enemy if you want, um, or you can kind of go for the, not quite turtle, but go for the longer drawn out victory, which sees you dominate economically, which is usually how I prefer to play. Sorry about that, guys. Again, I'll... I'll Fix that if one interesting thing about this mod as well is um it uses like I've talked about this before on the second channel anyone who plays this probably knows but the way income is earned and spent is different instead of oh uh, they built a thing there instead of it being spent right away um, it's kind of like expensed as you build something um, so you don't pay like an upfront fee. Oh, I forgot to capture that asteroid. Oops. So you don't pay an upfront f fee. It kind of just, your income goes down as you build. So if you've got lots of money, it's like not really a big deal because you won't really notice it if your income's high, but you can kind of bankrupt yourself. And if a ship costs 10,000 and you've only got 5,000, um, the building is really going to slow down because you're going to have to wait for money to come in. Um, so basically, you just have to be careful. Okay, so we'll go ahead and upgrade the resource asteroids. Uh, I'm not really too worried about the enemy right now. I think I might have accidentally put this on easy. That's fine, because I mostly want to show how the uh, mode works anyways. Go ahead and rush the middle, see if we can capture a couple of resource asteroids here. Um, so you can tech up, you can build but you can't do both at the same time in this mod and in most mods and i think the base game though it's been so long since i've played drop some fighters in here you can see our asteroid is kind of holding off against the enemy there we're not really being very careful either if this were like against a hard ai you'd want to respond um like whenever they start bullying your asteroids um you want to sneak in and steal theirs too, wherever possible. Drop an acclimator in here. Navigating. Awaiting your command. Upgrade complete. That's a DP twenty. The CEC stands for Corellian Engineering Corporation, which is the group that made them. So we can drop that down and give our ships over here some support. And I think once we build another one, we'll probably just. We'll probably just tech up. Build the Falcon, then tech up. Just 
give some cover for our acclimator which isn't really known for its uh, laser cannons at least it's not its anti-fighter lasers we can move up we can capture this asteroid as well so these things are actually structures um, they, they'll heal your ships so oh wow I know we can actually fully break it like that that's really cool Oh wow, that's really cool actually. The Millennium Falcon is at your service. Be a cool um maybe it's part of the campaign. Be a cool idea if like the enemy is building some massive dreadnought like that, you could go in and do like a raid on it. Space station damaged. What happens if we blow up the other one? It's cool though. I didn't even know animations that large were possible in this game to be honest background animations anyway Easier than the Kessel Run. Yeah, we've got a lot of money right now although ships in this in this mod do tend to be uh, fairly expensive so we do have a lot of money but it's it's also just the basic sort of level of income is multiplied I guess I think there are some ships that are like a hundred thousand credits maybe just chill, dude. Right, there's another one over here. I'm, I kind of want to try to destroy all of these. We're putting our fire in on that one. Our asteroid is. In Go ahead and upgrade our uh, asteroid Building. income. Construction. Beginning construction. Ready for action. We're almost done. Our, well, not almost done the upgrade, but we're getting close. Construction complete. I'm just really curious to know what happens when we blow all three of these up, if anything. Although, we can probably, we'll probably end up ca capturing this one, so I don't think we can actually... Oh, it just respawns anyway. Okay. I was wondering if something would happen if you, like, blew up all three or something. Uh, let's go ahead and build a Hate the Assault Frigate uh, Mark II, because it looks nothing like a regular Assault Frigate. I find the uh, Mon Calamari Cruiser and Venator. Uh, combination is a good one. C30C. This ship's actually in the base game, from what I remember correctly. Should we just send teams in to just man these? That'd be nice. That was really cool. There's another ship. Uh, I think it's Kuat, which would make sense. That is, uh, it's got a similar setup with the. Uh, Maybe, I guess, Fondor, if that's in the game, it might be that. Um, it's, it's a similar setup, but it's got a an executor and some Star Destroyers instead. Alright, since we're just playing the AI, maybe we'll... Well, we can tech up one more time, maybe. Actually, let's... Let's build a couple of... We'll build this Tide class, and then we'll upgrade. Because you can build... Admiral Akbar in Home 1 when you upgrade, and it's pretty cool. At least, unless it's changed. Oh yeah, there goes that other one again. That's ready. Alright, let's grab a fighter and just move up in position. S scope out their base. So they will just drop. Just drop you here. Drop you here. Hopefully that's not in range of the. Okay. A little worried that would be in range of the station, but it's not. Pirate base actually doing a really good job of protecting itself. There it is. have them target the shield generator one of three so it's not gonna be super quick definitely want the uh, Mon Cal cruiser to take the majority of the damage not the uh, vendor the vendor has decent guns and of course it's got great fighters but it is not very uh, sturdy Does it have shield boost? Yes, okay. 
Our space station is under attack. Slowly losing income, but we've got so much. It should be okay. Worst case scenario, we'll need to recapture some of these. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade that again. Yeah, like a lot of these ships have ion cannons too, so we're getting through the shield pretty quickly. But if we had missiles, that would have made it quite a bit quicker. Like if this were actually a difficult AI or a human player, you'd probably want to send a lot of fighters in. Not also because we're going to they're going to catch up with us and they're going to attack us. But if you can get through the shield easy, uh, or at least one of them, and then send some proper uh, capital ships in, it's it a little easier. Supply dock. That will remove their credits, I think? Yeah. Oh yeah, that'll really hurt their credits, I think. Okay. Let's watch the, uh, the Venator at full tilt, the guns. That's cool. 87%. It might actually be level five that we build the uh, the home one, but don't think we're gonna get there anyway. There's also a uh, a mandator dreadnought that you can build as the alliance, which is pretty cool. The Bothan assault frigate, I guess. Yeah. So here's the Radis, or sorry, not the Radis, Admiral Radis in the profundity. Um, he's a hero, obviously. Wow, they just leveled up. That's one thing I don't quite like about this skirmish mode in this mod, even though it's a pretty... Someone just knocks something over upstairs. It's a pretty minor detail, but when they level up, they get their whole um, base fixed, or at least large portions of it fixed. The Profundity is actually a really interesting ship because it's very missile-based, so you could send it in before the rest of your fleet, or alongside them, probably, because it's not very strong. Um... And have it take out key sections, like have it take out the uh, the shields or whatever else. And you guys will see in a minute. Yeah, I already fired some. Let's move it up. Take a look at the profundity model. The hangar there that I in one of my videos I said the profundity doesn't have a hangar despite the fact that the CR90 comes out of the hangar so that was not one of my better moments that screed or no that screed I think yes I'll drop this new uh, MC80 over here so you guys can see it in action we also have a dauntless which I'm not sure if that was in prior versions of the mod but we have it now <laughs> I like the addition of turbo lasers, like visible turbo lasers. It's one thing about Mon Calamari ships, you don't really see where the guns could be coming from. Go ahead and chase him down. Defending the shipyards. It's a lot of money in there. I like too how this mod now differentiates between the different turbo laser sizes. Ooh. I just love the visual effects for the weapons. They look so good. Yeah, you can see the different kind of class of ship here. Uh, I'll go ahead and jump this Dauntless in. Maybe somewhere where it can kill an enemy. Uh, how weak are you? Pretty damn weak. Wow. Still. So the Dauntless is is it was a legend ship. I don't think it's been reintroduced into canon. Um, one of the new, or sorry, Alliance's heavier capital ships. So just popped out four fighters. Pretty cool. Just kind of a workhorse. Nothing really super special about it. Just really 
you know, durable. Lots of broad siding. See if we can kill this. He doesn't want to target this gladiator for some reason, but it's okay. He'd rather shoot at this station, I guess. Not quite sure. Uh, I'll see if I can build the Both and Assault Frigate in time, but I kind of doubt it. The dramatic moment. Look at just fly off into space. Reinforcements available. That's probably going Just have that uh, Venator just pound away at the whatever's left of that station. But guys, this will be the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this early look at the upcoming version for Empire War Remake. If you want to see more, just a reminder that we will be streaming tonight on my second channel, X2. I will probably be uploading another video today. Excuse me. I uh, had a hiccup. Probably be uploading another video today, and I will also be uploading a lot more in the future on that channel. So uh, thanks for everyone who tuned in. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Back to regular lore stuff soon. But until next time, guys, have a great day. And may the Force be with you.